be to go here with this World Championship light heavyweight fight, the first of two on successive weeks. You are going to see the cream of the crop of the light heavyweights in the world. Today, the WBC Championship, and next week on the Sports Spec, the WBA Championship with the former Eddie Gregory, now Eddie Mustafa Muhammad against Jerry Martin. And so uh, we will have today's rules here in the state of New Jersey superseded by the WBC rules. The scoring will be on the 10-point must system. And uh, the referee and two judges will do the scoring. There is Yaki Lopez, 51 and 9 with 33 knockouts. And Frank Shane is introducing the champion. at 174 and 3 quarter pounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the capable champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad. Muhammad. 26 year old round. champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad, the former Matt Franklin, time, won the title Puerto in April Rico, 1979. The referee is Valdemar Schmidt from Puerto Rico as we see the tail of the tape. Lopez, 29 years of age, has had more experience, more fights. The weigh-in this morning produced those weights. 174 and a quarter for Saad Muhammad. 173 and three quarters. Again, showing that Lopez uh, not only is in uh, super condition, but had no problem making the weight. We watched him work this week, and uh, he looked super sharp and feels that uh, he's in the best shape of his career. He also feels that at age 28, he's more mature. He's had three other shots at the light heavyweight championship. One of them a controversial loss to Galindez and two tries against him. And, uh, he feels that uh, this is a great, great opportunity that he is not going to blow here at the Playboy Club in Great Gorge this afternoon. And we are underway with round one of the white trunks, the champion, Muhammad. And in blue trunks, Yaki Lopez from Stockton, California. Born in Zacateca, Mexico, has been living in Stockton for several years. Gil Clancy, uh, Lopez, uh, over his career, liked to get in there and mix it, brawl. He was a good puncher, known more as a puncher. Do you think that uh, it's possible for him to have turned around his style enough to do what he wants to do today, as you described, and that's become more of a boxer? Well, Tim, from my experience, that uh, once he gets hit a couple of punches, he'll, he'll revert back to being the same Yankee Lopez. He'll start standing still and try to punch with Muhammad, and that will be fatal. Managed and trained by Jack Cruz, Benny Casing, Kareem Hala about six weeks ago, mainly as a psychological force, and he is working in the corner. He's been kind of a cheerleader for Lopez. He just stumbled back there, no real impact from Muhammad. Muhammad is co-managed by Frank Gelb and Bilal Muhammad and trained by the veteran Sam Solomon. Well, so far, Yaki's sticking to his plan. He's moving side to side and trying to snap that left jab. successfully defended his crown three times, defeating John Conte twice, knocking out an overmatched Louis Pergo on his last championship defense. In his first fight against Lopez, he won the U.S. championship in October of 78. Stopped Lopez in the 11th round of what was described at that time as the fight of the year. doing what uh, the game plan called for, jabbing, jabbing. Tim, his jab has not been effective. And when you jab, you have to jab so that you imagine that your punch is going right through the other fella. He's just about touching Muhammad with those jabs. And Muhammad has landed some heavy body punches. And a good right hand from Muhammad landed. And he backs up Lopez. First round action. seconds to go in the first round. Well, you notice that Lopez forgot about the jabbing now, Tim. Now he's fighting. He went right inside and started to battle the way that uh, Lopez fans know that he can do. Judges are Frank Brunette and Paul Cavalier from New Jersey, and as we said, the referee, Valdemar Schmidt from Puerto Rico. Final seconds of round one. Black trim. Mandatory eight count is in effect. There is no three knockdown rule. That will be solely at the discretion of the referee. The count will continue after the bell in the event of a knockdown in the final 10 seconds. And that will apply except in the final round. 
foot ring here. Lots of moving room for both of these fighters. Jim, you had mentioned that the uh, Scott fight might have taken a lot out of Yankee Lopez, but he did not look like a shot fighter in that first round. He sure I mean, he's in not. with a real great champion, but he looks like a good fighter himself in there. Certainly in incredible condition. He somewhat reluctantly told us during the week that he had the flu. He didn't want to use that as an excuse to, for a loss to uh, the very tough James Scott. But uh, his handler said that uh, he indeed was somewhat under the weather when he took that fight with Scott. Lopez preferred to give credit to James Scott. As indeed Scott gave credit to Jerry Martin and to him his first loss. Lopez is now reverted to fighting exactly the way he's fought all his other fights. He's staying right there now. He's not moving too much. Looking to trade punches with Muhammad. He's standing still. Interesting technique in watching uh, Muhammad train this past week. Sam Solomon, his trainer, putting a sling around his neck and around his right hand so he couldn't throw it, trying to get him to use the left more. Felt that since he took him over back in October that he used his right hand too much, and of course he's got a devastating left. Well, there's that Lopez jab that he promised us we'd see. And he landed it several times. You know, you've commented that uh, Franklin uh, is insulted if you don't hit him with the jab. He kind of expects to, to get hit with a good left jab. That's right. And both of these fighters have a history of, uh, of busting up, cutting. So uh, we may see some interesting action here. Anything can happen in a fight like this. We have under a minute to go in round two. 15 round WBC light heavyweight championship. Next week, the other version, WBA. Here on the Sports Spectacular, 3 o'clock Eastern Time. Mustafa Bahama, the former Eddie Gregory against Jerry Martin, the man who handed James Scott his first loss. Him out. You're going to have to beat him if you want to beat him. Under a minute to go. His 
his fourth attempt at winning the light heavyweight championship. 28-year-old Yaki Lopez. Sam Solomon just, he just told Muhammad, knock him out. That may be a little harder to do than to say. Now Muhammad's coming forward and jabbing well. A little more blood from that slight cut. In the corner of the right eyebrow of Muhammad. Less than 30 seconds left, round three. fourth round of the scheduled 15 rounder and Yaki Lopez had a good round in round three although the champion Mohammed finished the final 20 or 30 seconds jabbing and punching well. Round number four Lopez the challenger in blue the champion Mohammed in white. Joining us at ringside here is the WBA champion Eddie Mustafa Mohammed. to get his comments as soon as we can get a microphone to him here. Okay. All right. Eddie, uh, nice to have you with us. And uh, a bit of a surprise, I think, that Lopez, who wanted to jab and box, Muhammad went back to his old punching style, and he got off to a good start in this fight. Yes, he did. But as the fight continued, he let Yaki try to take the play away from him a little bit, and Saad came back with his jabs. Yaki's successfully getting hit with a lot of jabs. He doesn't, like, seem to move his head. If Saab would only press him and keep jabbing, the fight would be much easier than what he's making it. Who would you expect to win this fight? Who did you think the winner would be? Well, I picked Saad an easy winner, but if he resorts back to his old tactics, he's in for a rough night. What do you mean by his old tactics? Stand on the ropes and take unnecessary punishment. Well, Eddie, we're looking forward to seeing you next week against Jerry Martin. Some people are wondering why you took such a tough opponent. Well, because I'm the champion, and I want to show people what champions are made of. Well, I'd like to hear that more often from other champions. <laughs> well, I'm a true champion. That's why. You heard it from me. All right. It should make a great fight for us next week, the WBA version, here on the Sports Spectacular at 3 o'clock. Stay with us here, Eddie, and we'll uh, get your comments as we go along. Jackie Lopez went back to his jabbing and moving style this round, Tim. This might be a good way to fight. He's fighting one round slug and the next round moving. right on the top of the bridge of the nose of Yaki Lopez, a cut open back in round three by the champion. And there seems to be no further damage to the slight cut at the corner of his right eyebrow, Mohammed's eyebrow. Less than a minute to go here in round four. It's a great pace for a light heavyweight fight there, Tim. Tremendous pace. There's Lopez jabbing again. Well, we said he's back to moving his jab. He's a big right hand. but it was a good shot from Lopez. And a left hook landed from Lopez, the challenger. Less than 30 seconds, round four. A lot of variety in Lopez's attack. Oh, he's fighting a beautiful fight so far, Tim. Beautiful fight. Been over and under, going to the body, coming up to the head, mixing up his attack. Final seconds, round four. Here's some action now from round number four as we await the fifth round. And Lopez and the champion Mohammed and White really going at it. A good round on our cards for Lopez and burying his attack effectively. This is round five. Lopez said he was going to work that jab overtime. At the, at the end of the last round, he threw five consecutive jabs and they all landed. Like a piston. They were pumping out there. Now he's, back to, now he's back to moving side to side again. Tim Ryan and Dick Stockton, ringside, live on the Sports Spectacular, the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship. Good crowd action. The referee is Valdemar Schmidt from Puerto Rico. A little white substance between the eyes of Lopez where they've had to stanch the bleeding. A slight cut. There appears to be no blood coming from the very slight cut suffered by Muhammad and Brown. Solomon. 
Silva saying, slide with him, slide with him. He wants him to keep Lopez in front of him. This little bit of movement on Lopez's part is bothering Muhammad. Pace has uh, slowed finally a little bit here in the fifth round. They were really going at it for four consecutive rounds. Big guys at 175 pounds. Good jabs by Lopez again. Daytona 500, Eric Hyden in Holland, the Lakers NBA Championship, the Islanders Stanley Cup, the 1980 Masters, the 1980 Belmont Stakes, you saw it all on CBS Sports. Well, you are looking at the challenger, Yaki Lopez on the left, the champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad now circling to the left of the ring, round number six, it's been a real good action fight through the first five rounds, Gil Clancy and I have Yaki Lopez ahead on our cards. Scoring by the referee, Valdemar Schmidt, and two judges from New Jersey, Frank Brunette and Paul Cavalier. Tim, on that, on that action inside last round, uh, Muhammad naturally is the stronger of the two, but Yaki Lopez is throwing his punches more precise, more correct, and uh, he got the better of that last exchange inside at the end of that last round, and now he's back with that jab again. You mentioned we have Eddie Mustafa Muhammad with us, a WBA champion who will be on the sports spec next week defending against Jerry Martin. Uh, the mic wasn't open last round, so let's go back to that same question. Eddie, uh, you said that uh, what Muhammad shouldn't do was stand there and take the punishment, and he did it again in round five, but he's on the attack now. That's what he should be doing, relying mainly on his jab to work inside because he's the strong of the two. A good exchange going right here between Lopez and Muhammad. Equal scoring, and they're just going toe-to-toe. -to -toe.
is hands full with the challenger, Yaki Lopez. Tim, at the end of that last round, Muhammad was in a little trouble. He got hit with a lot of good punches. Now I notice that they put a lot of heavy Vaseline over Yaki's both eyes, hoping that he doesn't bust up. Well, he has a slight cut between the eyes. Muhammad had a slight cut at the corner of the right eyebrow, way back in round two, that has not had any further damage done to him. Sam Solomon is screaming at, uh, at, at Muhammad, get off, get off, get off. He's already said it 20 times this round. He just said it again. Lopez has been magnificent through the first six rounds. On our cards, we have him comfortably ahead in this fight, but of course, that doesn't mean a thing the way uh, everybody sees boxing so subjectively. But uh, it would certainly appear that by any objective standard, uh, he is leading this fight. Sam Solomon exhorting his man from the corner, the veteran trainer, Bill Sonny Liston, among others. He's, he's telling uh, Muhammad not to let Yaki rest, but it's Muhammad that's tired. You're right, his mouth has been open since the middle of round number six. He's breathing more heavily than Lopez at this point. Good left hook from Muhammad, that's his best punch. He's well known for it, but Lopez comes right back in. Tim, very, very cool. He's picking the spots he faints first. Jackie Lopez, a new father. He has a two-week-old son, Alvaro. Well, it's always been my superstition that a new baby brings you a lot of luck, Tim. But it looks, right now, it looks like that's what's happening with Jackie Lopez. A big baby, too, 11.1 pounds. His wife Beatrice is here with his other boy, Yaki, three-year-old Yaki. Raising left hook from Yaki Lopez. Under a minute to go, round seven. Because in one side and gets out the back of your head. They're stiff jams. Under 30 seconds to go, round seven. Well, Lopez took that real good shot and did not let it bother him at all. Muhammad showing again a little fatigue. Muhammad can't seem to get two or three crisp punches together, and that's the end of round against second-ranked WBA challenger Jerry Martin. And also, you'll see action from the Tour de France. The king and his court softball team, they're always fun to watch in the Swamp Buggy Championships. It all starts here at 3 p.m. Eastern time on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Tim Ryan with Bill Clancy and Dick Stockton, round number eight of a terrific light heavyweight championship fight, WBC version. The champion is on the right and white. Yaki Lopez, the challenger in blue. After him at the start of this round with a little faster pace, Tim. He just seems to be walking after him now. This may be that second wind we were talking about. We'll see. Lopez with a furious exchange. But Lopez is now cut badly, Tim. Looks like he's cut badly. I think it's the same cut that's been reopened between his eyes. job so far. Muhammad no doubt will try to take advantage of that. It looks like it's a cut now over the right eye. Yeah, it's a bad one. We'll be watching it closely. Lopez has been the dominant force through this fight from the second round on. Now in trouble with the cut. And Muhammad sensing it. Going to work. Lopez flat footed against the ropes. He hasn't been Picking a lot of them off. 
uppercut lead, but Lopez picked it up. Final seconds of the eighth round. What a fight. Know how you could save over $300? Lopez finally up against the ropes for the first time in the whole fight, but he battled his way out right there as he literally backed Muhammad out into the middle of the ring. Now they're working on that cut. Gil, I think it's the same one between the eyes. It simply got opened up a little bit more. It didn't look like they had, had done anything else except to work on the same spot. Well, the referee has taken a fast lean off the cut. He took that protect the fast lean off the cut. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. It was a little heavy, but you should you leave something on there for protection. And it's round number nine. The referee is Valdemar Schmidt from Puerto Rico, appointed by the WBC. This is the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship. Next week, the WBA version, here on the Sports Spectacular. And August 2nd, Aaron Pryor and Antonio Cervantes for the Junior Wonderweight Championship in the WBA. That should be a dandy. Big right hand swing by Muhammad, and it landed. That's that strength, Tim. He has the strength. Ninth round scheduled for 15. Lopez in blue, the champion Muhammad in white. Again, Sam Solomon is saying, don't let him rest, don't let him rest. But I think they both need a rest after that great last round. We've had a furious pace here right from the opening bell. The crowd here has been very involved in this fight. Anybody would have to be. It's been action-packed. There's a lot of emotion. The fourth try at the title for Yaki Lopez, 28 years of age, from Stockton, California. The champion defending for the fourth time. Matthew Saad Mohammed, the orphan from Philadelphia. Gil, it seems to me that Mohammed doesn't have the same snap in his punches that he had a couple of rounds ago. Well, they're, they're both sides, him, and you know, he's, mo he's mostly an arm puncher. Anyhow, he depends on, that, on those big muscles. And fellas with big muscles have a tendency to get tired. Pace is finally slowed here in the ninth round, as to be expected. The champion has got to make something happen the way we see this fight at this point. Well, the corner did a good job on the cuts uh, with Yankee Lopez. There's no blood at all. Maybe it was Baltimore Schmidt when he put that pressure on when he took the grease off. Anyway, he's not bleeding, so it's not a factor right now. Joe Guzman and Hank Herrickley are the two men working in the corner. Yeah. 
Joe is not offering any offense at all, Tim. Last round in this round, no offense. He has to have Muhammad respect him at all times in there, he's just going to walk in and take him apart. Under a minute to go in the 10th round. Two weary warriors, but still throwing heavy leather. Short left from Lopez Landon. screaming at Muhammad to get out of there, get off the ropes. Either he doesn't want to or he can't. Under 30 seconds to go, 20 seconds left in round 10. Tim Ryan, Bill Clancy, and Dick Stockton, a tremendous light heavyweight championship fight. Beautiful, bright, sunny day. Referee took time. The tape came loose on Lopez Glove. Time will be called. They will have to finish the rounds. Time has stopped as they repair the tape that was coming loose on Lopez's glove, pick up the time when referee oh, Schmidt resumed we action. Almost, we almost had something happen here. Waldemar was holding Lopez's hands and he almost got nailed. And that, Frank, was an exciting international event. You'll see it here, along with the light heavyweight championship, WBA version, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad and Jerry Martin, and that should be a dandy. It'll be hard to top this one today. The challenger, Yaki Lopez, the champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad, and they have been to war. We are in the 11th round. Well, the last time they met Tim, uh, Muhammad stopped them in the 11th round. Let's see if, if it's a jinx round for Lopez, or let's, anyway, let's find out what happens. Again, in Lopez's corner, they did a good job in stopping the bleeding from that cut. Muhammad has not been able to really open it enough to make it a factor in the fight thus far. Now, Lopez is moving around the ring, but when you move, you have to jab. He's moving around, and he's not moving his hands. Not moving his hands. Back this guy up for three minutes. I think the 
Muhammad is tired enough now that he can't back up. And, and Lopez is letting him set his own pace now. And yeah, Lopez can come forward. That's the, oh, he can come question. forward behind that left jab, Tim. I think right now, just out to the nitty-gritty, the championship's on the line, and he could win it right that way. Well, I do agree with you, and he is in great physical condition. We've emphasized that. He's shown it in this fight. And that uh, would appear to be good advice for him from Gil Clancy. The outside, Tim, Muhammad throws those big wide punches. They have so much strength and power. Even when he hits them on the arms, he moves them. But inside, Lopez is punching faster and harder. We're in round 12. They're using the term grueling, and I think it's the most apt adjective for this fight. Again, blood from that cut between the eyes of Lopez, but does not appear to be a factor. Muhammad might have thought when it opened that he was going to be able to work on it, but Lopez has survived, but he took the problem. Lopez has stopped punching. Muhammad doing the work here in the 12th round. Of course, he's got to keep working if he wants to retain his title. Lopez is not going to walk out with that title to him unless he turns it on. You can see Sam Solomon doing his work in the corner, trying to get Muhammad to throw more punches, be first off.
seconds left in the 13th round. No damage done. And that last exchange. The arm worry Mohammed just unable to get any sting on those punches. Final seconds of the 13th round. on the challenger's glove, Yaki Lopez, and now we're underway in the 14th round. A tremendous light heavyweight championship, more of the same next week, WBA version. Tim, every time they stand in front of each other and confront each other, Muhammad gets off first. This championship is up for grabs, but Lopez has to get off. There, there's, there's the champ getting off first again. They're telling the champ in his corner he's got to go, and he's getting off. I don't know what Lopez is thinking about. Right hand down goes Lopez. A right hand followed by a left hook. He was hurt, Tim. He's shaking his head to clear the cobwebs. First knockdown of the fight. Lopez is up and ready to resume, right. but he Here was comes rocked. the freight train now. Here he comes. We're in the 14th round. The champion with a right and a left sent the challenger Lopez to the camp canvas. And there's a solid left hook from Muhammad. Tim, you know, seeing Lopez score like that, that's better than that. goes again. Down again. And that might be it as the champion Muhammad with a comeback here late in this fight from round nine on. Looks like he's retained his championship, but Lopez is not ready to quit yet. Looks like Lopez's nose is broken, Tim. He's bleeding heavily from the nose now. That one left hook did it. He's in trouble, and Muhammad just measuring him now. The champion would appear to have retained his title. Lopez is done. There is no three knockdown rule. It's at the discretion of the referee, Valdemar Schmidt. And he's going to try it once more. He's been down three times in this round. Lopez in extreme trouble here, valiantly trying to stay alive in a fight that he led early. But the champion trying to come up with a big one to finish him. Uh, his adrenaline is up now, Tim. He saw him fall down. That's like five minutes rest. Good right that's hand. It. That's it. That's it. That's it. The referee it. has said it is all over. And Matthew Saad Muhammad with a 14th round knockout of challenger Yaki Lopez has retained the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship. Look at the end. Well, Yaki Lopez, who, as we saw it, had a commanding lead all the way into the ninth round, simply ran into a champion who battled back and got stronger as the fight went on, wound up with a knockout victory in the 14th round. Lopez valiantly getting up from the canvas three times before finally the referee, Valdemar Schmidt, said that's enough. And Saad Muhammad has now successfully defended his WBC crown for the fourth time. Tim, this is a case of where the champion just, he would not give up that title. He would not give it up. He sure would not.